The question why seems to always be on our mind. And I think that why is a gravity that takes you away from the now. And you're going to find that anytime you're entertaining why, you're just not in the now. And to get out of why, we need knowledge and we need to know how. So knowing how, cultivating that is one quick fix for you right now is how can I, how can I understand, how can I comprehend, how can I learn more, how can I perceive. These questions over time are, is, is going to help you cultivate an action plan. But until you get there, learning many different ways, learning through poetry and even jokes and punchlines will help you. So why is a philosophical question, and it wastes time. Osho is a guru that has a book named Osho's Book of Wisdom, and he has a very interesting way to teach. And to teach the why, sometimes it's circumstantial. And to show why is philosophy What I'm going to say can be found in his book, Osho's Book of Wisdom, chapter 26, six minutes towards the end on the audio version of that chapter, chapter 26. He says, there was two football players in an American university in philosophy class. And they had to answer the essay. And the question was, why? So everybody is writing long, long essays on it. One football player, after a while, writes down two words. Why not? And turns it in. The other football player (laughs) comes to his conclusion and writes one word. Because. And turns it in. This professor gave an A to the first one. And then A minus to the second one. And that is really the conclusion of why. Why not will get you moving and because will get you moving. But if you sit on why, you're going to find that it goes around and around and around. Seeking the know-how will help you get out of that, by the way, to remind you. But sometimes you don't know everything and it's circumstantial and it wastes your time. There was these three men that were waiting for St. Peter. They all have died. And St. Peter has them in his waiting room. And he comes back from lunch. He took a long lunch. And the first guy comes in confused. And he says, I don't know why I'm here. St. Peter says, well, you're obviously here to be judged. So why do you think you're ready to go into heaven? He says, well... I lived a moral life. I always looked out for everybody and looked out for my neighbors. He says, okay, well then, what do you remember right before you were here? He says, well, I was sitting in my hammock, what I love to do on my days off, my backyard. And I saw my neighbors... um, A man went in my neighbor's house. Yeah, that's what happened. A man went in my neighbor's house, and he was there for a long time. And because I look out for my neighbors, you know, I always call them. So I called them up, and I told them, hey, somebody, some guy's in your house, and he's been there for a long time. So all I know is I went to sleep, and right before I woke up, I seen a refrigerator falling from the third floor. St. Peter looks at him and says, well, seems like you did live a moral life and seems like your death is unfortunate and circumstantial. You are worthy. You can go into heaven. So, okay. So he goes. Next guy comes in. He's confused. St. Peter goes through it with him and says, why do you think you're worthy to go into heaven? He says, well, I lived a moral life. I always did the right thing. He says, well, what do you remember before 
you came here? He says, well, I got a call from my neighbor. And he told me that my wife was in the house with a man. And it was like 30 minutes. So I was pissed. I went in there and I found her naked on the bed. And I just knew there was a guy somewhere. And I was looking all over the place, in the closets all over the place. And I couldn't find anybody. So I picked up the fridge and I threw it out the window. St. Peter says, huh? That's understandable. It's justified. You did live a moral life and you did act on what you know. He says, you can go into heaven. Third guy comes in. You're not going to believe anything I say. <laughs> he said, I don't know why I'm here, but oh my God. He says, well, take it easy. Just try me. Tell me if you think you're worthy to go into heaven and what you remember. He says, well, I think I'm worthy. All I do is I do what people tell me. I'm, I'm a good worker. My boss sent me on a job and I show up at this lady's house. At the fix her, fix her refrigerator, and it took longer than anticipated. And all of a sudden, she comes in and tells me, "My husband's coming. You gotta hide." So I look all over the place. Next thing I know, I'm closing the refrigerator door. Sometimes things are circumstantial. You figure out the know-how. Check out Osho's Book of Wisdom if you like this joke. Chapter 26, six minutes to the end. He tells it better than me. Aloha.